Mics are unmuted. And Recording in progress. Um, I call this meeting of the special meeting of the Sio Township Board of Trustees to order at 7.01. Um, the, um, let's see, um, I guess uh, we're uh, calling the roll, please. Sure. Hathaway? Uh, present. Palmer? Yes. Lintoff? Present. Corto? Present. Jerome? Present. Noel? Absent. McLaughlin? Present. We have quorum. Um, the purpose of this meeting uh, this evening um, is to consult with the township attorney regarding a trial or settlement strategy in connection with the township of Sio versus the Donald T. Botsford Trust. Washington County Trial Court case number 20-00115-CE um, and our intent is to go into closed session but before we do so um, we will um, uh, take the steps of uh, Pledge of Allegiance and then uh, we will have public comment. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there members of the public who would like to comment? If so, please raise your Zoom hand. Four members of the public in attendance on Zoom. If you have any public comment, please raise your hand. We have one hand. Helen New, you're up. Yes, this Pardon me, Helen New, excuse me. Yes, this doesn't relate to the matter you're dealing with, but rather with the Arbor's Grove issue. And I would just like to urge you all to reconsider the high density. Um, I live at 537 Woodgrove, at the dead end of Woodgrove, uh, right across from where the um, Arbor's Grove is being proposed. We have immense water problems right now, uh, exacerbated by when they built a, when a berm was put in there. Um, the water comes up to the concrete slab in the back, working its way around. Our front yards get absolutely sopped. Um, I did have photos that I took that were included in a presentation by uh, one of my uh, neighbors, Kevin Jackson, in his presentation to the board. I believe that was last week. Um, another issue is the traffic. Um, because we have in a very narrow area, Country French Estates comes out, Trillium and Parkwood, this is already problematic without adding anything else. Uh, if you're on foot and trying to cross the road, it can take five to 10 minutes before traffic clears up enough to be able to, to cross. As it is, even now, we really could benefit from a crosswalk, a middle turn lane, a stop sign or a stop light. I hate to think what it will be like uh, with added, um, high, particularly with the high density, anything though actually will will add to problems. So my biggest concerns, I mean, obviously things like noise and whatever, but I mean, that's going to happen no matter what is put there. But the water and the traffic, really, I would urge uh, you all to really think about that in terms of what actually goes in. So thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you, Helene. Any other interested public? I see no other hands. Will? Um, in that case, um, we will um, proceed. Are you prepared to make a motion to go into closed session? Sure. Um, I'd like to move that we go into closed session to consult with the township attorney regarding trial or settlement strategy in connection with the township of Sio v. the Donald T. Botsford Trust. Washtenaw County Trial Court Case Number 20-001115-CE because an open meeting would have a detrimental financial effect on the litigating or settlement position of the township. Uh, I'll second that. Um, 
Please call the roll. Hathaway? Yes. Palmer? Yes. Lintop? Yes. Porto? Yes. Jerome? Yes. McLaughlin? Yes. We have six votes. We will now go into closed session. Um, and the public um, is not permitted to attend closed session. So for the three of you still on Zoom, please sign off. Um, we will return to open session after we're done with this. Um, and you can uh, check back. Um, but would ask that you drop off of Zoom now. If I remove you from Zoom, you can't come back in later. There you go. John.